Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fun and useful art table. All you'll need to make this art table is five 1x4 boards, a 2x4 project panel, and some screws and hardware. I love that there is a paper roll integrated. To make this, first just make the legs. You'll start with 1x4 boards, cut at the width of the project panel, and then add legs. For the trays, you'll just start with the bottom board and then add two side boards, and that makes the trays. You'll make two of the trays and then you'll add the sides and then you'll just put your project panel in there and you can flip it over and then screw the legs on and then don't forget add the paper roll by using a dowel and then just um, craft paper roll gets put on the dowel so let's get started I cut all of my boards with a compound miter saw and then I marked all of the boards that run widthwise to the table, so running the shorter length of the table, I marked all those for pocket holes. And I have a Craig Foreman and it makes drilling pocket holes super fast and easy. If you build it all, beg for one of these for Christmas. But of course you can use a regular pocket hole jig which is must less expensive or even just screws or nails to assemble. Um, and then I use glue at all of my joints. And here I'm making the legs, so I'm attaching the horizontal boards to the vertical leg boards. And there's the two leg sets. You can see on the bottom board, because that'll be exposed, I hit my pocket hole in the underside. Now for the trace. I'm just resting, that's actually a sideboard, resting on the bottom board. And I've got another one of the 1x4s as a support just to hold it up for me while I nail. So there is one tray done. You'll notice that I've drilled pocket holes all the way around um, so I can attach it to the side aprons. And that's the next step. Here's the side apron. And I'm just gonna attach that with pocket hole screws. I'll need to go back and fill those pocket holes on the ends that you see. That won't be a big deal. I'll just use some wood filler and then sand it when it dries. Um, since this is a painted finish that I'm going for. If you were using a stain finish, I would either um, nail or try to hide those pocket holes on the inside. Okay, so that's the top. And then for the plywood panel, um, I kept it the 24 inches wide and I just cut it down in size and drilled pocket holes only on the two sides. Do you see what I'm doing wrong here? If I look grumpy, that's because I just noticed right here that the trays are actually upside down. So I fixed it and then I painted everything white and then once I moved it into the room that I wanted to install it, I just used one and a quarter inch screws to screw to, um, to the side aprons and to the underside of the tabletop. And there it is, all done. She loved it and I'm sure your kids will too.